Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, we take a look at one of the sharpest looking and performing machines currently available in the Breville Espresso lineup. The Barista Pro offers excellent single boiler steaming, an intuitive digital user interface, and a built-in burr grinder. Being a partial successor to the ever-popular Barista Express, it's only natural that we'll make some comparisons between those two machines in this video, and I'll leave both linked down in the description below so that you can compare your own local pricing. Let's get started. When I first unpacked this machine, admittedly the first thing that struck me was the looks. I've owned a lot of espresso machines, and I might just make the controversial statement that this is my favorite looking one out of the group right now. This shade, called Damson Blue, is absolutely beautiful, and even has a slight metallic flake when you look closely enough. Put that together with an overall more angular appearance and gently curved high gloss splash plate, and you've got a very next generation looking espresso machine. Alright, that's enough about the looks. Quickly running through the physical features, you have a built-in burr grinder on top with 30 different grind steps, a cup warming rack, a large 2 liter removable water reservoir with low level sensor, a retractable power cable, a digital display controlled by a single rotating and pressable knob, a magnetic tamper holder, a single 54mm group head, a 4 hole steam wand, a hot water outlet, and a drip tray with storage hidden in behind. Of these features, the older Barista Express is missing the digital display, the low water indicator in the water tank, the retractable power cord, it only has a single hole steam wand instead of four, and it only has 18 grind steps versus the 30 found on the Pro. Oh, and it doesn't look nearly as good. Moving on to performance, the Barista Pro is a very compelling machine in this price bracket. Because of Breville's new heating system dubbed the Thermojet, this machine can get up to operating temperature in only 3 seconds. Seriously, watch. This makes it a great way to get hot water quickly for things like tea, but it's important to remember that you also need to properly preheat the portafilter before you can actually extract espresso, which means either leaving it in the group head for about 10 minutes, or running several blank shots and then wiping down the filter basket. Having 30 grind steps makes dialing in your espresso shot both easier and more accurate, resulting in less situations where your ideal shot flavor is seemingly stuck in between two grind settings. Dosing can be adjusted in half second increments, and having the time shown on the display is nice in contrast to the purely analog dial on the older Barista Express. Brewing temperature can also be adjusted up or down from the default setting of 200 degrees Fahrenheit, further allowing you to fine tune the extraction to your individual coffee and taste preferences. However, I did find it slightly inconvenient that it only shows hotter or colder and not an actual temperature reading. Kind of an odd decision on Breville's part. While the espresso performance is well executed and in line with the quality we've come to expect from Breville, the milk steaming and latte making performance is really where this machine stands out from the older generations. The most important advantage of the Thermojet is not the 3 second heat up time, it's the massive improvement to steam transition speed and steaming power. All single boiler espresso machines take time to transition between extracting espresso and steaming milk because they cannot do both at the same time. The Barista Pro is undoubtedly one of the fastest single boiler machines when it comes to this transition speed and the subsequent steaming power. Take a look at the difference in speed between the Barista Pro and the older Barista Express after the shot has finished pulling.
If you're someone who is buying an espresso machine for the primary use of milk-based drinks, this is a big advantage in performance, especially if you plan on serving multiple guests back to back, because for the same reason that there's a transition speed between brewing and steaming, there's also a transition from steaming temperature back down to brewing temperature. And the Barista Pro is again much more efficient in this process due to the thermojet. In contrast, the Barista Express can be seen dumping cold water onto its heating coil to try to cool it back down, while the Barista Pro easily accomplishes the same task with far less drama, although admittedly it doesn't look quite as cool. Increased steaming power also means the Barista Pro can take advantage of using a four-hole steam wand for easier milk texturing, which is a nice feature if you're someone who's used to working on more expensive prosumer or commercial grade machines. The new digital interface is also a very nice addition. It allows you to access all the features and adjustability of the machine without needing to refer to the manual each time like you had to do on the older generations. Want to change the brew temperature? Sure. Want to run the cleaning cycle? It's right there. And the addition of some subtle animations only further adds to the overall futuristic feel of this espresso machine. Overall, the Barista Pro was able to make several considerable workflow and build quality upgrades over the already very popular line of Breville machines, which in and of itself is a big accomplishment. If you're going to be steaming lots of milk, care about having a modern looking machine, or just simply want the best the market currently has to offer in this form factor, then the Barista Pro should definitely be at the top of your list. As always, I'll leave links to all the products mentioned down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.